Welcome back. I'll go over the similarities and differences between the Needleman Wunsch and Smith Waterman algorithms in this video. The Needleman Wunsch algorithm was created by Saul B. Needleman and Christian D. Wunsch, while the Smith Waterman algorithm was created by Smith and Waterman. The Needleman Wunsch algorithm was published in 1970 while the Smith-Waterman algorithm was published in 1981. During the initialization step, the Needleman-Wunsch algorithm must fill the column and row by progressively adding the gap penalties, whereas the Smith-Waterman algorithm fills the column and row by zero. The matrix in the Needleman-Wunsch algorithm is filled out by considering the maximum of three values, whereas the matrix in the Smith-Waterman algorithm is filled out by considering the maximum of four values. There are negative values in the Needleman-Wunsch algorithm, but no negative values in the Smith-Waterman algorithm. The traceback in the Needleman-Wunsch algorithm begins in the bottom right corner and ends in the top left corner, whereas the traceback in the Smith-Waterman algorithm begins in the highest value anywhere in the matrix and ends at zero. The global alignment is determined by the Needleman-Wunsch algorithm, while the local alignment is determined by the Smith-Waterman algorithm. Despite their differences, both of these algorithms share some characteristics. Both algorithms are used to find nucleotide and amino acid sequence alignments. Both of these performed letter-by-letter -letter comparisons of the sequences. Both algorithms use dynamic programming. Both have three steps. Initialization, matrix filling, and traceback. To fill the matrix, both algorithms use match rewards and gap penalties. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.